you mentioned this earlier, but it seems like there are impacts from ordinals into other communities, you know, NFT marketplaces. I think there's been a lot of excitement in .BTC uh, names on the Bitcoin name system. So can you talk a little bit more about this and, and what you're seeing? Yeah, so I think uh, so. one obvious question is people are like, well, the Stacks L2 already has NFTs and the hashes of those are automatically going uh, into Bitcoin. How do ordinals impact that, right? Uh, so the way I look at it, that, that there's always a premium to putting an image on the Bitcoin chain itself. And there's a very natural upper limit to how much how much data you can put. Right. Like Bitcoin, Bitcoin blocks are limited and much more limited than you know some of the other chains because of decentralization. Right. You a Bitcoin is designed in a way that normal people can run nodes uh, anywhere around the world, and it's not like you need a data center to be to be able to run a node. So I do think that uh, it, that will act as a natural filter, uh, maybe more high end NFTs or really important uh, data like over the long term. Uh, would make economic sense to put on the Bitcoin chain. And I think whenever, historically, any chain where the L1 gets crowded, the obvious solution is like, go, go to the L2. We've seen this in Ethereum. We are seeing this even, even in things like Solana, where it's meant to be like a, a chain where everything happens on a single layer, but they're already L2s that are emerging as a potential scalability solution. So I think, in my view, this is actually very healthy uh, for the L2s, and there aren't many in the in the Bitcoin ecosystem. I think Stacks is one of one of the major ones. Uh, there was something like you know uh, 650,000 NFTs minted on 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 Stacks in the last year or more, and I think that's actually very very healthy. But if a lot of people are coming in through ordinals, discovering Bitcoin NFTs, and if, if that's not going to scale to millions of users on L1, right? So a very natural side effect of that is people will be more interested in L2s and they would try to do more things uh, on L2s as well. In fact, I'm already noticing uh, increased activity on mar current marketplaces like Gamma and others where uh, existing collections are getting more interest and more, more kind of like, you know, users coming in and discovering them. And same thing you mentioned, uh, .BTC, similar thing over there. I think .BTC is, is slightly a different category because that system actually started on Bitcoin L1 originally. And we did hit like, you know, back in the day, scalability limitations. And that's when it was migrated uh, to the, the Stacks L2 when, when it launched in, in, in early 2021. So Dart PTC is again, a very interesting thing where we have sort of experienced that already, that trying to do it on L1 in some ways, like feels more true to Bitcoin. Like, hey, you're putting data directly on, on the L1. Didn't really scale uh, that well, at least back in the day. And now these .BTC names are on the Stacks L2 with all the hashes that are settling on, on Bitcoin and, and then so on. And I, I do think that with the interest in ordinals, with people coming in, it's not going to be just about uh, the NFTs, right? Because when developers come in and their attention is actually focused on, on the system, people, people uh, do experimental things. They play around with stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's more interest in uh, domain names like .BDC, or if there's more interest uh, later on in Bitcoin DeFi, because because when when developers come in, they are always thinking about what else can I do, right? So once I think um, the Bitcoin culture and Bitcoin developer culture is more open to ordinals, you wouldn't be able to just stop it there, right? Like it's going to very easily translate into oh, what else can I do with Bitcoin? What other interesting experiments can I run? What other uh, cool new things can I build on top? And I'm just personally very, very excited about that because the Stacks L2 community has been about this for years, right? Like these are sort of like the early builders who came in, who saw the potential of the Bitcoin L1 and, and the potential for building around it. And now it's it's a little bit like you're seeing your thesis play out that, you know, when, when, when something happens on Bitcoin, uh, people uh, pay attention and there is a premium for building on 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 the number one asset and chain out there in the world. 